see the driver hooks a function by patching the system call table, so it's not safe to unload it unless another thread's about to jump in there and do its stuff, and you don't want to end up in the middle of invalid memory. <laughs> Hello? So I spend a lot of my day now kind of just talking with developers and testers, making sure that we have, like, the finishing touches on the product, and I'll respond to emails. And, yeah, I have a lot of meetings, but I don't want to say meetings per se, like, people kind of have bad connotations with meetings. So I like the idea of having designers go through this, and I'm one, but before we give it to them, I'd like to get it as close to good as we could. Before I took CS5, I, I thought that computer science was all about men being antisocial and giving themselves carpal tunnel by typing so much. Uh, I had no idea that the problems were so interesting and so creative and so fun and rewarding. Uh, I had a great idea. You know how we're always having to stop and solve differential equations, like when you're doing Fourier analysis or using the Schrodinger equation? Now, Howard doesn't. He's only an engineer. <laughs> I was thinking we could write a little app that would use handwriting recognition and then run it through a symbolic evaluation engine. You just use your smartphone, take a picture of the equation, and bam! You know what's a great app? The one that makes fart noises. I chose to be a computer science major because it allowed me to solve real world problems, which is something I've always wanted to do. I want to help other people um, just make their everyday life easier. And that's something I can do through computer science. It's definitely a rewarding experience because we're making educational software that, that touches lives all over the country and across, across the world, really, because a lot of the stuff that we use gets used in um, different countries like Australia oh, yeah. and stuff like that, so it's really cool. So the project I'm working on is called uh, Fireworks Net, and what it is is uh, we take sensors, um, we put them around a forest fire to sense information, and they send that information back to us. And knowing that, it helps them better predict which way the fire is going to go, uh, how it's going to behave, and that leads to a safer environment for the firefighters. This is the sensor package that we developed uh, to measure weather conditions, and it attaches. I think the thing that I have enjoyed most about being an undergraduate computer science major really has been the ability to do real work, to build real systems and applications that have implications for the poor people in our world. Computer science isn't just sitting behind a desk all day. You can get out there and you can really make something that can make a difference. Time. I believe I've isolated the algorithm for making friends. <laughs> Sheldon, there is no algorithm for making friends. Well, hear him out. If he's really onto something, we could open a booth at Comic-Con, make a fortune. <laughs> and then I spend a third of the day just sort of wandering around the office, talking to people, getting things coordinated, going to meetings, helping people out when they're having little crises, or, or in general, just sort of helping my friends. It's, it's a busy day, but it's pretty fun. I like working in a group and being able to create tools that the biologists can use. And I get immediate feedback too, like, oh, this is great, it's really helping, or this doesn't work at all, why not? Anyway, my next guest leads a double life as a Victoria's Secrets model and a computer programmer. I think it's a shame that there are these expectations that they, maybe they are expecting uh, the typical programmer who's a white male, um, they, they, they call them geeks or nerds. And then they get this top model, this gorgeous, <laughs> tall beauty. <laughs> so, so let's talk about that. I understand you just have an app that came out on Monday called sure. Code Made Cool. Yes. And it's targeting young girls. Yes. Why do you think it's so important to get young girls involved in coding? Sure. Um, well, as it is, there are very few graduates in computer science in college. I think 2.4% of college graduates graduate with degrees in computer science. And of that 2.4%, only 12% are women. So there are very, very few female computer programmers in our country right now. And people might just imagine this field to be, you know, going and working for computer science industry. But no, no, computer scientists can go and work in the hospital, work along the side with doctors, become a doctor, um, become a lawyer. All, you know, just really an enabling um, field which has many doors in the future to open. 